When Austrian explorer Arthur Poznanski performed a study on Puma Punku in 1926, he later hypothesized that it was, in fact, one of the oldest archaeological sites on the face of the Earth. An ancient ruin dating back at least 15,000 years ago. Poznanski was one of the first explorers of the modern age to have ever investigated Puma Punku's incredible existence. But as our regular viewers would have predicted, his hypothesis is staunchly denied by academics worldwide. Yet regardless of this, his sound reasoning, and indeed that of many other critically-minded individuals, means that his theory is one many others have arrived at, thus it continues to have many supporters to this day. And although mainstream academia persists in their attempts to place this amazing and largely inexplicable site's date of construction within permitted timelines, claiming to have carbon dating done at the site which places its origins at around 500 BC, supporters of a greater age dismiss this dating as unreliable, and due to our own in-depth and many years of investigative experience regarding these ruins, tend to agree that the site is indeed far older, and due to there having been an ice age around 10,000 years ago, this dating made by Poznanski would put it right where one would expect to have found it if it was indeed the work of a pre-cataclysmic civilization, with Puma Punku being a surviving relic of their incredible legacy. Additionally, archaeologist and researcher Neil Steed has also investigated a relationship with astronomical alignments. He discovered intriguing supporting evidence for this controversial opinion. Finding that it was built to coincide with winter and summer solstice, and a precise alignment with the spring equinox as well. However, these events would have only been perfectly aligned with the temples over 17,000 years ago. We have long argued against a field of study that is not only assumptive in method, but is also conspiratorial in nature. Any dating of any relic which cannot be explained is merely an attempt to muddy the waters of understanding often obscured with an in-depth volley of detailed and competent investigations into civilizations, we posit merely re-inhabited said sites within known, recent, well-studied history. This convincing tale of events, however, is short-lived if one explores any of the said sites with a logical eye. One soon finds that many characteristics on display are not only found globally, which on its own is compelling proof of a past global superpower. But the countless trilithons, enormous megaliths some reaching into the thousands of tons, along with highly advanced, incredibly accurate, yet unknown masonry techniques, all tell a story which academics who never seem to mention said features cannot explain. Not to mention melting pots of ancient academic anomalies, such as that of Puma Punku. How can anyone logically claim that the astonishing precision on show at the site, along with the many basalt megalithic platforms weighing many hundreds of tons, all indicative of a past highly capable, technologically advanced civilization, once having been responsible and once one grasps just how many holes can be found within mainstream opinion, they can be forgiven for doubting said tale of events, especially when those who tell such tales actively attempt to conceal such unexplainable features. Who built Puma Punku? Is it really over 15,000 years old? How would one cut such precision stonework without precision machinery? It is a place which we find highly compelling.